next. Twelve rounds of championship boxing live from Cleveland, Ohio. Now let's go to Mike Lewis, our ring announcer. Mike. Ladies and gentlemen and fight fans everywhere, welcome to the Public Hall Arena in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Don King Productions Incorporated is proud to present a 12-round WBC World Super Light Weight Championship bout sanctioned by the Cleveland Boxing Commission. In the red corner, with a record of 33, 13, and 5, and 14 KOs from the Bronx, New York, wearing the sky blue trunks, the WBC number one ranked Sweet Sour Mommy, Mommy. And in the blue corner, with a record of 46 and 2 and 14 KOs from Las Vegas, Nevada, Wearing the white trunks with the green trim, the world super lightweight champion, Leroy Haley. Haley. Now let's listen to the instructions from our referee, Dick Steele. But I want to caution you now. You must obey my command at all times. When I said break, I want you to stop punching, take a step back. You keep all of your punches in front of the man. In case someone knock down, the man is standing, must go to the farther neutral corner. Remain there till I tell you to come up. Okay? Understand? Shake hand and good luck to both. Saul Mambi on the left, 35 years of age. He's 5'8 and a half, weighed in at 140 pounds and has a 73-inch reach. Leroy Haley is 30 years of age, just turned 30 a month ago. 5'5 five, five and a half, 140 pounds with a 68-inch uh, reach. We have three judges today, Spider Bynum from Dallas, Texas, Chuck Minker, and Henry Elsprew. A referee out of Las Vegas and Los Angeles, California, is Dick Steele. 12 rounds, Vern Lundquist and Larry Holmes. Good to have you with us, and we're underway. This ought to be a tactical masterpiece. Neither known as a knockout artist. And important Larry Holmes, I think, for Saul Mambi to get that quick start. It looked like he's doing that, Vern. He came out with that left jab right away, so if he can continue to do that throughout the fight, things will change. Saul Mambi, 35 years, born of a Jamaican father and a Spanish mother. His wife, Yolanda, is here. Their two children stayed home. Back in the Bronx, New York. Burn right now, these both of these guys are kind of tight, you know. They're filling each other out. But Saul Mammy is sticking that left jab out there, looking for that right hand to follow. If he can do that, he can land a good right because Leroy keeps his left hand, his left hand kind of down. Watch the left hand of Leroy Haley. We're in the opening moments of round number one from Public Hall in Cleveland, Ohio, a rematch. These two fought for the title eight months ago, and it was a split decision and kind of interesting because one judge scored it eight rounds to uh, Haley, five for Mambi, and two uh, even. Another judge had six for Haley, two for Mambi, and seven even. And the third judge saw it completely differently. He scored it eight for Mambi, six for Haley, and two even. It is a subjective sport at times. Yes, it is. Right. Round number one, Mambi in the blue trunks, Leroy Haley out of Las Vegas, Nevada, in the green and white. His name is Irish Leroy Haley, thus the shamrock, but he's gone by Leroy Haley Jr. all of his life. Born in Garland, Arkansas, moved to Las Vegas in 1971, and fought his first 40 fights at home in Las Vegas before going on the road. One thing about Leroy, he's not coming in like he usually do. Leroy used to put a lot of pressure, but he's backing up in, uh, in, in being a boxer, and this could be a mistake. One of the things most felt about the first time they fought each other in Cleveland is that, that Haley did a good job of judging distance, that he was able to stay away from the uh, Mamby jab. Dick Steele gets in and breaks it up. We've got one minute remaining in round number one. Good overhand right from Saul Mambi. 
There's that left jab and the overhand right. That's the right hand that Memphis will land all night if he continue to throw it. He's not known for having a great right hand, is he? No, he's not, but he can knock you out. You know, he's a good fighter, and he's an experienced, he's a veteran. He can knock you out with the right hand. Leroy Haley at five, five and a half. In the white trucks, the champion. There's a slip from Saul Mambi. Overhand left a little wild. Ten seconds to go at round number one. Round number two from Cleveland, Ohio. We've got Leroy Haley, the champion, super lightweight champion in the green and white. Saul Mambi, the former champion who held it for two years in the sky blue trunks. First round fairly even. Mambi, 35 years of age, and there's a good combination from Leroy Haley. Leroy is doing what he got to do with the combinations, but that part of that combination was blocked a little bit. When I noticed something in the last round that Leroy Haley's trying to do. That's trying to counter Mammy with an overhand right over the jab. There's Mammy with the left hand jab and the overhand right. Mammy has been fighting professionally since 1969. When he first fought for the world championship in 77, he had 11 losses on his record, and he lost in Thailand a split decision. Then came back to win it on the road in Seoul, Korea. Defended it five times, knocked out Esteban De Jesus in his first defense before losing it to Haley last June here in Cleveland. Mamby at 35 says he wants it back. Haley at 30 says he wants to keep it. Mamby just told Haley, come on, you can tell that he really wants his title back. He's looking very confident out there, Ryan, and, uh, but he's going to have to hold this for two rounds. So Haley's on the fight just like that. Leroy Haley with a counterpunch comes back. Haley, 30 years of age, born in Garland, Arkansas, one of nine children. In high school in Las Vegas, he played football, basketball, ran track, had only 10 amateur bouts as a fighter before turning pro in 1970. And he's lost only twice in his 10-year career. Good left to the body by Leroy Haley. Leroy is counting punching. After Mammy threw a punch, Leroy comes back with punches of his own. And uh, Mammy got to find a way to keep Leroy from coming back with punches. Round number two, there's a wild left from Leroy Haley. First round fairly even. We're midway through round number two. Left hand jab from Saul Mambi. Mambi held the title, as we said, for two years. Defended it all over the world. He has fought in Paris, Indonesia, Nigeria, Central America, South America. In contrast, Leroy Haley has fought only in the United States and has defended his championship just once. Good left hand jab, but it was blocked by Saul Mambi. There's the jab from Haley again, and the wild left uppercut from Saul Mamby. Mamby is trying to uh, wait for Leroy. He's trying to set him up, and by him waiting for Leroy, Leroy's coming on, and he can't do that. He needs to go after him, doesn't he? Yes, he do. He's got to go after him with combination to keep his hands up. Final 30 seconds of round two. Boy, the pace has been quick, though. Yes, it is. You know, for little guys, good right hand by Mamby at that time, too. Huh? Mamby with the overhand right as we're near the end of round number two. Number three. Leroy Haley from Las Vegas and Saul Mamby from the Bronx, New York. Number three of the World Super Lightweight Championship from Public Hall in Cleveland, Ohio. Saul Mamby in the blue and the champion Leroy Haley in the white and green. Bert Lundquist along with World Heavyweight Champion Larry Holmes. Ray Leonard, who was to have been with us, snowbound in Boston. Fairly even fight thus far. Yes, it is very easy. What Leroy Hill is doing now, he's trying to out-hustle Mamby. Mamby can't let Leroy out-hustle him. He got to be there and throw punches. Has he, in your estimation, made, uh, Mamby I'm speaking of, made the use of that jab that he needs to? Well, he's trying to get it working, but he just can't get it working. But Leroy's there and he's out of there. And uh, Mamby just got to get that jab. The land, and when he gets that jab working like he wanted, he'll be able to put the right hands together. Haley does a great job of coming in, throwing the punches, backing away, doesn't he? Yes, Haley do. He's a good counter puncher to be so short. Mammy being as tall as he is, he's getting over uh, Mammy's jab. Mammy, to your right in the blue. Leroy Haley in the green and white. This is round three of a scheduled 12 round fight. Saul Mammy at 35, Leroy Haley at 30. No knockdowns thus far. Neither is really known as a knockout puncher, but Mamby said yesterday, he told me it will not go the distance. 
Mammy felt very confident with himself, and uh, he felt that he can take Leroy Hilly out. And I know Leroy not to take the best punches, but Willie Roy Riggins knocked him out one time in the sixth round. So Mammy can do the same thing. He's been in there with all the great fighters. All he had to do now is put it together, or if the age factor is going to bother him. In contrast, Sal Mammy has never been knocked down or out in his career. He went 10 rounds with Roberto Duran when Duran had knocked out 15 of his previous 17 opponents. Lost the decision, but still went the distance. Has been in there the distance against the likes of Cervantes. Virouette. He's been a world traveler, Saul Mambi. And we are in round number three. One minute to go. Mambi trying to regain his title that he lost here in Cleveland eight months ago to the champion, Leroy Haley. The member should be sticking that jab right now, keeping Leroy busy, keeping thinking at all times. He's now starting to wait to counter for a punch, and he can't count, wait to counter on Leroy. There's a couple of lefts from Leroy Haley that were blocked by Sal Mambi. Referee is Dick Steele. It's a 10-round must system with three judges. Spider Bynum, Chuck Minker, and Henry Ellis Brew. 30 seconds to go. Good right hand from Mambi. That's what Mammy had to do. He got to throw those combinations like that. Both of those punches land. There's the left jab again, followed by the right hook. A good left jab, but a counter punch from Leroy Haley. As we near the end of round number three, we thought we'd have a good one, and we have indeed. Saul Mambi and Leroy Haley, super lightweight championship of the world on the line in this rematch between these two, and immediately Haley comes out throwing leather. And this is what Saul Mambi should do. He should do the opposite. He should come out and throw punches just like Leroy is doing. Here comes Mambi on the attack. The two left jabs. Now up against the rope, and Dick Steele separates him. This fight coming to you live from Cleveland, Ohio next week. Next Saturday, number two ranked junior runaway Johnny Bumpus with a record of 17 wins and no losses with 12 knockouts will meet Randy Shields. Shields overall record 40 wins and eight losses and 21 knockouts. That's next week on CBS Sports Saturday. There you go. Leroy Haley on the left. He's had only six fights in the last two years, three years rather, and he said one reason for that is a good left from Haley. The last day of 79, he was in an automobile accident and hurt his spine, so he was almost inactive for an entire year, fought only once 10 months after the accident, and has had just two two fights in each of the uh, ensuing two years. I think that accident helped Leroy, it may help him make up his mind what he wants to do. And he, since he came back, he's been doing all right. One title. He is the champion, misses with a wild left hook. Sao Mambi held the title for two years, having won it over Sang Hyun Kim in Seoul, Korea with a 14th round knockout back in 1980. See what Mendes doing, like I said earlier, he's still just sticking a jab out there and Leroy's trying to counter. Mammy's trying to set him up. What Mammy got to do, he's got to fight him. He got to fight him and make things work while he's fighting. Here comes Leroy Haley Barry again. He's a little bulldog. Yes, he is. He's very aggressive. There's a solid right that uh, I think may have been blocked by Mammy's elbow. I don't know that it hit the rib cage or not. We're in round number four. There's a good shot from Leroy Haley. One minute to go, round four. Scheduled for 12 rounds. NBA All-Star game to follow on CBS. Dick Stockton and Bill Russell out there. Those are great athletes, aren't they, Larry? Yes, they are. And, and you know, hey, I like to watch those guys. You know, the 76ers is my team. <laughs> oh, they're having an awful season. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just, they, they break the all-time record. I'm telling you. Well, Dr. J and Moses will be there. That's coming up on CBS, the NBA All-Star game, following our fight this afternoon. That Dr. J, he's phenomenal, ain't he? He's a great, he may be the greatest athlete of them all. Yes. Uh, other than you, of course. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know where I'm sitting. <laughs> Round number four, less than 20 seconds to go. And a fairly even fight for the World Super Lightweight Championship. Dick Steele breaks him up in the neutral corner. We're live from Cleveland, Ohio. The fifth round of a scheduled 12-round World Championship Super Lightweight bout. Leroy Haley in the white and green and Saul Mambi in the blue. Haley has held the championship for eight months. He won it in a split decision over Saul Mambi here in Cleveland last June. 
has defended the title one time. That was against Giovanni Jimenez back in October. And on that same bill, Saul Mambi fought Monroe Brooks and won a unanimous 10-round decision. Right, right. Haley with a couple of good punches. Maybe looked very good when he fought Monroe Brooks. He backed him up. He countered well. And this is what he got to do with Leroy Haley. Leroy Haley is backing up. You keep him backing up. There have been moments when Mambi has done just that, particularly the first and second rounds. But in two and three, he kind of uh, reverted to four. There's the left jab. The left jab followed by the overhand right. That's exactly what he's got to do. That's what Mammy got to do if he want to win this fight. You know, he's not putting anything behind that right hand, but it's landing. If he can land enough of them, maybe they'll start to take effect. Sao Mambi, after graduating from high school back in 1965, was drafted into the Army. He is a Vietnam veteran. Spent a year in Vietnam before getting out in 68. Went to Jamaica and decided to become a fighter, fighter and fought his six-round bout there in 1969 against Roy Goss. Left hook from Leroy Haley. Left followed by the good right. Leroy is starting to find the mark on Mammy now. You know, he's throwing right hands. He's throwing combination up and under. And uh, he just throwing punches. And this is what he wants to do. This is what he got to do to win the title, to keep a hold on to his title. Haley with an economy of movement thus far here in round number five from Cleveland, Ohio. Vern Lundquist with Larry Holmes. Now Mambi stalking his opponent in the far corner. One minute to go in round five. That overhand right from Leroy Haley misfired. Mambi should be using a jab just like he's doing now to keep him backing up. Just don't stop. It's only 12 rounds. It's just, just keep the pressure on. They're supposed to be in shape to do that. Do you like the idea of a 12-round championship match? No, I don't myself because I feel the championship should keep fighting for 15 rounds, you know, or take him out of there. Anything can happen in a fight. They are going at it right now in round number five. 30 seconds to go. And both boxers landed solid punches then in that exchange. That was a good exchange, and this is what they got to do. This is what men may have to do to offset this. Haley misses with the uppercut. There's a good left hook to the body from Sal Mambi. Dick Steele, our referee, hasn't had any problems so far. Three judges on a 10-point must scoring system. Ten seconds to go. In round number five. Round six, World Super Lightweight Championship. Saul Mambi in the blue, the champion Leroy Haley out of Las Vegas, Nevada in the green and white. Good, solid round, round number five for both men. There's a good combination from Haley as he bears in. Landing punches left and right to the body. Mambi's not using that right hand as much as he should have been using it. And when he throws, he's not really nothing out on it. He might have hurt his right hand. Well, I noticed yesterday he did not want to shake hands with his right hand, Larry. Is that a, a tradition among boxers? Yeah, well, I don't shake hands with too many people either. And if I do, I give them a finger or something, you know, because people got a tendency of thinking fighting so strong and they want to get a good grip. So this is, that's good for me. So that, that wouldn't be an indication that anything was wrong. Right, that wouldn't be an indication. Sal Mambi in the blue, 5'8 and a half. Leroy Haley in the green and white, he's 5'5 five, five and a half. Both tipped the scales at exactly 140 pounds last night. Good combination from Haley, but an overhand right from Mambi lands. Round six, live from Public Hall in Cleveland, Ohio. You've been scoring, Larry Holmes. How do you have it scored so far? I got the fight even, you know, with Mammy got 48 and Haley got 48 points. So uh, I got it even at a 10-point muscle. Sal Mambi looks, waits, and Haley counters. There's the left jab that uh, glanced off the cheek. No cuts, no knockdowns so far in the fight. There's a good left, and Haley is, Haley's really looking good as a counterpuncher. Yes, he is. He's throwing no punches. He's trying to take it. You know, if you notice, a good right hand by Mambi. That's the best right hand Mambi has thrown in the fight. There's the uppercut, and Haley is beginning to bleed just a little bit. Haley held on a little bit that time, man, because he was shaking up from that punch. But if you notice, uh, Haley's lip is blessed, busted because he had a sore on it earlier, and Mambi punch is starting to land now. So Mambi has controlled this round thus far. One minute to go. Round number six, and the crowd is enjoying it. Good left, followed by the 
the right again for Mamby. Now the counter punch from Leroy Haley. We're at the midway point of the fight. For Lundquist and Larry Holmes, and the world champion says it's even thus far. Haley coming back with 30 seconds to go in the round. Mary's starting to find that mark. Even with the jab, the right hands are starting to land. But I think Mary should continue to put the pressure. Sal Mamby at 35 years of age. Leroy Haley, the last time they fought, said he was 27. And last night he produced his driver's license. He said, I'm really 30. I was just trying to psych him out last summer. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in round number six. It's been a great round. Seven of a scheduled 12 round world championship fight and Haley flies out of the corner. It has been a very even fight, but I think, uh, Larry, that Sal Mamby had uh, round six. Yes, I think Mamby won that round, but again, it's so hard over here not being a professional judge, but fighter's opinion, I think Mamby won that round. Very even fight. Sal Mamby had the title for two years, lost it last... Oh, wow, my goodness. It was kind of a glancing overhand, right? I think it may have sounded worse than it uh, was. Yeah, but Mammy's doing now what he got to do to win the fight. He's just sticking the jab. He's starting to counter. The punches are starting to land. These are those moments from now toward the end of the bout. With all of those rounds of sparring, all of those miles of running, all of that heart begins to tell. It may be a battle of attrition between these two young men. If you notice, Leroy throws a couple of punches and he ties up. He, he goes in and he ties up. He got hit with a good left hook. Leroy did that time with Bob Mamby. Good combination from Saul Mamby out of the Bronx, New York. As we said, he won the title back in 1980 with a 14th round knockout. It was his second attempt at the title, and he won it in Seoul, Korea. Then knocked out Esteban de Jesus in his first defense, defended it four more times before losing it to Leroy Haley last June. Once you get it, you want to keep it, don't you? You always want to hold on to it because it's a, it's a feeling when you lose. I lost in the amateur, and man, I, it was a, a feeling that I don't want to have anymore. You may never lose again. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Holmes, the world champion with us, Sugar Ray Leonard, who was scheduled to be here, snowbound in Boston. And Ray, we hope you and Juanita and Ollie Dunlop are enjoying the fight. And I, I want to tell Ray I hope he's watching the fight and I don't mind doing your job today. I hope you're getting his fee. <laughs> I'm not getting paid. Because if you hadn't shown up, I was going to demand it. <laughs> One minute to go, round number seven. There's a good combination from Saul Mamby. And Haley hangs on. He may have been hurt by that combo. Yes, he was. Uh, Mamby's starting to find the... Work, work. Mark now hitting with a left hook that time. It wasn't really much on it, but he's starting to land oh, no punches. Three good jabs from Sal Mamby in succession. And Haley hangs on again. Don't let him get sick. Haley doesn't have quite as much enthusiasm now as he did a couple of rounds ago, do you think? 30 seconds to go, and Mamby is really carrying it to Leroy Haley right now. These combinations of Mamby is, man is starting to land. This is what he got to do. He, this is what he's doing now. I guess his corner's really told him, don't let this guy off the hook. And this is what he's doing. Haley with a counter punch. His eyes are beginning to puff up just a little bit as we near the end of round number seven in this World Super Lightweight Championship match live from Cleveland, Ohio. Round number eight, scheduled 12 round championship match. Leroy Haley, the current champion, and Sal Mamby, the former champion. Vern Lundquist with world heavyweight champion Larry Holmes here at ringside. Haley was told between rounds by his corner, his trainer Willie Brown, and his corner man Sonny Oliver, when you land some punches, stay after him. He's an old man. Don't let him off the hook, Larry. Yeah, Mamby is old as age, but he's still got a lot going for himself because he really haven't had any real tough fights. They haven't been hurt, knocked out. Look at him. He looks like a kid yet. He really does. He said before the fight, if you weren't with us, I've got a 35-year-old body but a teenager's heart. I'm telling you. Sal Mamby, left hook. Leroy Haley at 5'5 five, five and a half, 140. Sal Mamby at 5'8 and a half, 140. Mamby out of the Bronx, New York. Leroy Haley from Las Vegas. Good left hook. There's the jab and the right. Good, man, oh, man. good combinations. He's really putting his punches together well. And this is what he's doing right. You know, he's throwing that left hook, and that left hook seems to be finding the mark. And uh, if he can just keep that up, we got a new champion today. Well, it is rare to win it, but even more difficult, perhaps, to get it back. And Leroy Haley is trying to hold on what he earned last year. 
Now Haley getting a little furious here in round number eight. Leroy's just not going to give Mamie that title. Mamie's going to have to earn it. He's going to have to work. He's going to have to fight for it. Fool Leroy. Leroy's still in this fight. He's not out of it. Midway through the eighth round of a scheduled 12-rounder, the first 12-round championship bout under WBC rules. Leroy just landed a good right hand on top of Mamie's head. kind of high. There's a flicking left jab from Mamby. There's the jab again, and he's connecting. There's the boy. They're really great technicians, both of these guys. Good, masterful, interesting fight. Keep working, Jim. Here's Haley stalking. And Mamby with the left jab again. Well, if he forgot the left jab the last time they fought, he has it this time around. There's a good combination. One minute to go in round eight. Mamby got hit with another good right hand, but he fired right back and landed a left hook. And so this is a good, even fight. These guys are both fighting for that title. Right, Mamby tries the overhand right. It doesn't land. Nick Steele is our referee. Ten-point must. Very even fight. We're in late stages of round number eight. Coming up after our fight today, the NBA All-Star Game from Los Angeles. Dick Stockton and Bill Russell standing by on the West Coast. And that ought to be fun. This, a 12-round scheduled fight for the World Super Lightweight Championship. There's a good combination from Leroy Haley. Mouthpiece flew out of the ring as we near the end of round number eight. That was Leroy Haley's mouthpiece. Minutes ago, these two young men went 15 rounds here in Cleveland. A split decision went to Leroy Haley as he won the championship. And we're underway with round nine from Cleveland, Ohio. And an aggressive Leroy Haley out of the corner again. It's been a seesaw teeter-totter battle back and forth. Yes, it has. You know, Leroy got that middle name, Irish Leroy Haley. That's his real name, Irish Leroy Haley. First of nine, or rather the first born son of nine children. He was the fourth born of his mother and father. Born in Garland, Arkansas. Wonder how in the world they settled on the name of Irish Leroy Haley. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason for the shamrock. Saul Mamby converted to Judaism when he was four years old. He's born of a Jamaican father and a Spanish mother. Age of 35, he has fought all over the world. Paris, Jakarta, Lagos, Seoul, Korat, Thailand, San Juan, and Cleveland. And it was here he lost the title eight months ago. Here he is trying to win it back. Leroy Haley has not lost any of his verb and enthusiasm thus far. Neither one seems particularly uh, exhausted at this point. No, I, Mammy usually, he's a, a late starter. Mammy comes on at the end. This is time Mammy usually starts coming on. He's dancing now, he's boxing, he's sticking that jab. He's up on his toe and, uh, toes and uh, he's, he looks fresh to me. He's got the reach advantage of five inches over Leroy Haley. Haley surprised Mamby the last time they fought by not coming inside. You'd expect the shorter man to fight inside of the body, but he stayed away, and he's doing a good job of it today. Getting in and coming back out. Yes, he is. He's, he's doing a good job in it, but every now and then he come in there, Mamby catches him. Leroy Haley has been the counterpuncher thus far in the fight, and we are in round nine. There's a good combination again for Mamby, and Haley hangs on. Dick Steele will break him up. We've got a minute to go in round nine. Dick Steele out of Las Vegas, 10-point must with three judges, Spider Bidem, Chuck Minker, and Henry, Henry Ellisburg. Haley has his hand still up high. There's a good left from Sal Mountain. Overhand right is blocked, and Haley, and now they'll mix it up. See, when Leroy get hit with a good punch, he fires back just to get Mammy off of him. Most fighters fight like that on instinct. If they don't take a, a swing back, that's when they can get caught with another punch, and it can be very costly. That's a missed left hook from Leroy Haley. He looks the worst for the wear right now, but he's been in this fight all the way. Dick Steele's going to let him mix it up against the ropes. Interesting, Greg Page and Larry Frazier fought here yesterday, and the ropes were really loose. They came out last night and made sure they were tightened up. And here we go, Haley and Mamby having at it in the middle of the ring. Round number 10 from Cleveland, Ohio, World Super Lightweight Championship, Leroy Haley. The shorter of the two in the white trunks is the champion, Saul Mamby, is the former champion and challenger today. In between rounds, Leroy Haley asked his trainer, Willie Brown, am I behind? 
And Willie Brown said, no, but you've got to keep it going. You've got to get after it. He did say he wasn't behind, and it's been a very even fight. What he should have said, yeah, you are behind. <laughs> that would make him fight a little do, harder. Do, do you listen to your cornerman, Larry? Yes, I do. I do listen. Can they help you in that one minute? Yes, only by cooling me down and whatnot, because I'm a fighter, and the instincts come automatically. Well, Haley did want to know if, in their estimation, he was behind, and he was told no. Sao Mami trying to regain a title he lost eight months ago at the age of 35. Looks fresh. They both do. And they have fought 27 minutes thus far. By the way, this is the seventh title fight in which Mamby has been involved, and only the third for Leroy Haley. And experience does count, I would think, in these late rounds. Yes, it does. Mamby been out there with all, all the fighters. You know, like you say, he fought Duran and he went had to go all over the world to fight other people for the for the title. And uh, he's been there. You know what it's all about. Leroy don't really know what it's all about yet. I asked Leroy Haney last night if he felt he had gotten respect as a champion. He said, the only respect I really care about is that of my family. Halfway through round number 10. Sal Mamby came into this fight very confident. Said he had a lot of things on his mind. He was listless the last time they met in June. He bought a new car, as a matter of fact. And uh, had license plates put on it that said, Champ 2. <laughs> That's good inspiration for him, but he just got here with a good right hand that he shouldn't have took. There's the left from Leroy Haley. One minute to go in round 10. We've had no knockdowns in the fight. Saul Mambi from the Bronx, New York. Leroy Haley from Las Vegas, Nevada. Good combination, and here comes Haley. Mambi flicks out the jab again. He can't forget the jab here in the late rounds, and... Haley has just been tenacious in coming at him. Very interesting fight, the tactics used by the two. I asked Leroy last night if he came into a fight with a game plan. He said, man, this isn't football. <laughs> this yeah, is but boxing. you still got to have a game plan. If you don't have a game plan, you might as well stay home. He denied he had one. He said, no, he improvises. I said, come on. He said, well, final 15 seconds of round number 10. The overhand right from Haley misses. 10 seconds to go in round number 10 from Cleveland, Ohio. The Super World Lightweight Championship bout. End of this World Championship bout from Cleveland, Ohio, and it has been close. The champion, Leroy Haley, out of Las Vegas, Nevada, at 30 years of age. The challenger and former champion, Saul Mamby, out of Bronx, New York. And right now, I think, Larry Holmes, it's still even. Yes, it's very even. You know, I got Mammy head by one point. That's all. Is that but, right? And I'm not a judge. Okay. <laughs> we have three judges. The referee does not have a vote. And here's Haley hanging on. Go get him. Go get him. Saul Mamby and Leroy Haley. Mamby, the 13 and a half year veteran. Held the title for two years, lost it here in June last summer. Split decision. Said he was listless. Leroy Haley in that fight had just lost his father and said he really didn't have his mind on the fight like he should have, and he would box better today. There's a good right from Haley. Yeah, Haley just landed a good right hand, but he took some punches in the corner there. And he can't take these punches. He's got to get his mind together. What he's doing, he's listening to this corner in the middle of the fight, and he's holding Mammy and looking over. I think that could be a mistake going into this fight. Now, you really can't take the time to do that. No, you can't look for the other fighters on uh, your other your corner. Coming up, the NBA All-Star Game on CBS at the conclusion of our fight. And here we go. Midway through the 11th round. Most thought it would go the full 12. And this, the first WBC championship fight ever to be limited to 12 rounds. That, of course, because of the death of Duke Kukane in his fight with Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Haley is cut over his right eye now, Vern, from a, from a punch from Saul Mamby. There's a good little left. That jab, one minute to go in round 11. Mamby has not forsaken the jab. Comes back with the overhand right. All the miles of road work. All the rounds in the ring. 
All the hours with the bag. It all comes to the forefront in the final stages of a gut-wrenching fight like this. That's right. And now Haley know he's no knows that he's in a fight now. He's starting to feel his, his own blood drip down his face, and uh, he's a little leery of that. 30 seconds to go in round number 11. A good, two good laps. And followed by a good right. Saul Mambi trying to regain the title he lost eight months ago. Mambi and Haley in the neutral corner. Separated by Dick Steele, we've got nine seconds to go. In the 11th round, we'll have one more forthcoming. to go do you think it's still uh, a matter of who wins this final round yes i think so mammy's ahead by one point on my on my scorecard which i said it before i'm not a judge anything can happen in this fight both of these guys want that title as the challenger must he be more decisive in his victory than uh, than leroy haley i don't think so not today i think it's too many people got their eyes on this fight so it really doesn't make a difference all right we're going back to the ring for the final round of the WBC Super Lightweight Championship bout live from Cleveland. And the crowd begins to set up a roar. Leroy's coming out like he wants this title. He's fighting hard. This is what champions got to do and challengers have to do. You got to finish your last round strong. Sao Mambi and Leroy Haney, ages 35 and 30 respectively. The second time they have met. It has surged back and forth like a novel. For the beginning, the middle, and now the end. And it's been well written. Sal Mandy at 35, trying to regain the championship before the years run out. He's close to retirement. Leroy Haley in the prime of his 10-year career has been whipped only twice. The one thing about it in this championship fight, they can't, they can't have a draw. That's right. <laughs> Mamby and Haley trying to decide the issue before a good crowd, noisy crowd here in Cleveland. Mamby just landed two good punches on Haley. There's a good left from Mamby, another good left. A good left jab from Saul Mamby. Haley, who wanted to know three rounds ago, am I behind? Maybe getting to a little concerned right now. Dick Steele says break. They are tactical fighters, good technicians, and they have given us plenty to enjoy and appreciate today. Here's Haley with a late flurry. Mammy looked over at me. I said, you got to go. He got to go if he wants his title because Haley is the champion. Leroy Haley has held the title for eight months. He defended it back in October here against Giovanni Schur Gentili. One minute remaining in the bout. Leroy Haley, as we said, has fought his last four fights here in Cleveland. Mamby his last three. They have given it their all here in Cleveland, Ohio for the World Super Lightweight Championship. Thirty seconds to go. I don't know, Larry. What do you think? I don't know. This round is very hard to decide, but um, anything can happen. Like I said in this round, I don't want to be the judge because uh, this fight is very, very close. We have had no knockdowns, and we're in the final ten seconds of the fight. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. goes the distance for the second time that these two men have met. This time 12 rounds, last time 15. Want to venture against Larry Holmes? Well, I call that last round an even. And uh, before I had maybe a hit by one point. But like I said, Brent, I'm not the judge and anything can happen in a fight like this. Well, we'll be back with a decision and it'll be close. But first, let's go to Brent. We're back in Cleveland, Ohio, where Leroy Haley and Saul Mamby have gone 12 tough, tenacious rounds. We have a decision. Let's go to Mike Lewis, our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Henry Ellis Earl scores the fight 
114, Haley. Brad Spider Bynum scores the fight, 115, 114, Haley. Just about as artistically as you did. Yeah, well, okay. I'm a, I can do it better, but I had somebody here that's a professional. He danced with Liberace, uh, one of the artists is my nephew, Irish Haley, and he get paid to do flips. Let's talk a little bit about a very, very tough fight. I thought your counterpunching gave you the victory. Well, Saul is a great fighter. I have to give him credit. I beat him by one point. What can I say? Uh, he's a credit to the junior welterweight division, and Saul will get another rematch. He will definitely get another rematch. He will get another rematch. He deserves it. There was a point, Leroy, when I heard you ask your trainer about the 11th or 12th rounds. You said, am I behind? Did you think you were? I knew the fight was close because Mambi is a great competitor. This man can fight. He said he would fight you differently and with much more enthusiasm this time than he did eight months ago. Did he? Well, he didn't get hit with as many right hands as he got hit with before. <laughs> and he hit me with more shots than he hit me with before. But, uh... We both, I think, was better prepared than we was before because he knew that I was a good fighter and I was in a little better condition than uh, I was last time. If I would have been in the condition I was the first time we met, I would be ex-champion. You mentioned the fact that you had some things that were on your mind eight months ago that were not this time. Right. Well, my dad died about a month before that. Me and my dad were real, real close. And uh, it was uh, a tough thing to do. And I sort of sneaked in the back door on Saul last time. This time, Saul was prepared, and Saul put up a great fight, and he will get a rematch. Well, you heard him, Saul. You put a terrific effort forth. I know you must be heartbroken. Well, these things happen. What the hell? <laughs> Do you want uh, a rematch? Do you want to fight him again? Sure, if the Don King put it on. Yeah. Well, we've got a we've got a split decision and a unanimous decision. I think there's some things up for grabs, Leroy. Well, uh, if I was uh, going to live, if life or death was on the verge of who was the best fighter, I wouldn't want to live on the verge of that. Because uh, Saul, uh, me and him put on a good show for the American people, and I think that a rematch would be uh, something that the public would really like because uh, we give them their money's worth. Stand by, Leroy. I want to come back to you. But, Saul, I want to ask you about your tactics in the fight. I thought that you made terrific use of the left jab and the overhand right, which was your, your game plan coming in. Right. I heard him a few times. I lost, I lost. No, no, nothing on my mind. I did the best I could, and um, it wasn't good enough. Do you feel in your heart that you won this match? Yeah, I do. I thought I did, but I'm not going to argue or, uh, with the judges. They say I lost, I lost. Where might it have got? I was telling Leroy. I thought his counter punching was very effective, as I thought that your jab and the right and the combinations were. Did you get hurt by his counter punching today? No, he didn't. Hurt, Leroy didn't hurt me at all. Uh, once I hurt him, though, I know I did, but he got away from me. When was that? Uh, I don't know what round, but I, I knocked his mouthpiece out, and then he, after that, I hit him with a good right hand, and boom, he stumbled. He got away. The bell rang. Then he came on back. There's a little bit of a grin on your face. Do you remember the shot? Well, I remember I lost my mouthpiece, but uh, Saul hurt me. Uh, we bumped shoulders, and uh, uh, he, I was hurt in the first round, but he didn't know it. Oh, is that right? Yeah, we bumped, I bumped shoulders, and uh, it sort of, sort of shot pain through my neck and stuff, but uh, Saul is a, is a real good fighter, and uh, uh, he's right. The fight uh, was real, real close. I agree with the judges. I won, and naturally... Uh, he thought that he won because uh, he did a good job and he put up a real good show. So, uh, like I say, uh, we were living on the verge of that. Uh, we both could die. Congratulations to you, Saul. Congratulations to you, Leroy. I think the folks would enjoy a rematch between these two great champions. Thank you, fellas. That's it from Set for Fight.
the Animal Fletcher, and Wilfred Sipia. Let's go to the ring for the introductions, and the ring announcer, Frank Darian. Welcome to the beautiful copper room of the Sensational Sands Hotel and Casino here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, as Pelts Boxing Promotions proudly presents the scheduled 12-round USBA Middleweight Championship bout. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 12-round title bout, 